All right, welcome everyone out to Van Sessions at the Monarch. This is Christine Baird. Good. Christine Baird on Van Sessions. Welcome everyone out to this live podcast recording here at the Monarch Building, home to artisans and creatives in the heart of Ogden's Nine Rails Arts District. I'm our Brandon Long. Next to me here in the van, Shane Osgathorpe and Todd Obendorfer out there. We are the Banyan Collective, 
and this is Van Sessions. I want to thank our host tonight, the Monarch Building. You can book your wedding or corporate event here at the Monarch. Mention this podcast for a discount. Also, huge shout out to Utah Brewing, the official beer of Van Sessions. <laughs> The bar is open and serving you, Tog, so grab some uh, drink and stay thirsty tonight, I guess it is. Uh, visit their restaurant on Grant Avenue, and remember, whenever you drink a Utah beer, you're supporting local musicians and local artists and this program. Thank you also to our granting partner, Ogden City Arts. Christine, you want to introduce your band real quick? Yeah, let's do it. So this is Adrian Baldwin over here on guitar. Right. We got Desmond Whitney over here on bass. On the bejeweled bass over here. <laughs> Bedazzled. We got Matt Wilson on drums back here. All right. So uh, you, you got a single out. Are you busy this time of year? I mean, we're just kicking off the new year. You know what? This, this time of year, there's a lot of gigs. Like, you know, winter is high. Yeah. High time in Utah for gigging. So I've, you know, done, do a lot of restaurant, do a lot of bar gigs. I've got these guys we play. Uh, we had an Urban Lounge show a few weeks ago. That was super fun. And uh, I'm just, I'm kind of in the midst of releasing a bunch of new tunes. So, so we're, we're, right, we're riding that new tune wave right now. I love it. On your bio, you've got Rocky Mountain Soul. Let's get to know you a little bit. Yeah. Where's that Rocky Mountain Soul come from? So I grew up out here. I lived okay. in New York, though, for 10 years. So mm. I feel like I, I came back out here for a myriad of reasons. And since I got back out here, I was able to really express myself in a way that I wasn't able to in, in New York. It was like coming back to the mountains helped me expand yeah. in a way where New York feels really oppressive. You know, it feels really... Everything is tight and together, and, and uh, it was just really amazing for me to be able to come back out here and, and find this, this uh, expression, this authentic artistic expression, to which I've now coined Rocky Mountain Soul, which I feel like combines that sort of New York grit and the warmth of my mountain roots. Very good. Love it. Tell us about that first song. So that first song was called Girl You Can't Lose. It was on my debut EP that I released uh, almost three years ago, about three years ago in a few days. And uh, I, re I recorded it with uh, my producer in his New York apartment. And that song was called Girl You Can't Lose. And you can find it streaming everywhere. And it was just, it was one of my first project that I released. And uh, I think it turned out really good. So check it out if you'd like. Uh, love that track, actually. Take us into this next track. Thank you. So this is a new tune. This is one I, I actually wrote in the week leading up to our Urban Lounge show a few weeks ago. And uh, the band was so wonderful to allow me to road test it at that gig. They crushed it, seriously. <laughs> I, I had a few mistakes, but they, they, were, they were the foundation that I needed to really get through it. So this one's called Nothing But Love. Till you wake up and they're gone And he becomes a stranger the melody of a distant song One I'll never forget Always stuck in my head But now there's no
Okay, that's Adrian Baldwin on the guitar there. Yeah. Steen Barrett on Van Sessions. Again, this is a podcast. You can find it by searching Van Sessions on YouTube. Shane, what are your thoughts here tonight? I, I am most intrigued to know the voices that have inspired and formed and shaped you. I think I have some pretty good guesses, but I want to hear you so say them first. I actually want to hear your guesses first. <laughs> and I'll tell you if you're correct. Well, a, a big chunk of your style reminds me a lot of Sheryl Crow. Yeah. Okay, is that is that one? Yeah. Um, geez, now you got to name one. So I grew up, so I love Sheryl Crow. I love Bonnie Raitt, Susan Tedeschi. I grew up actually listening to Celine Dion and Christina Aguilera. Yeah. So I've been told a lot that I, 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 I mimic people very well too, but I think I, I took on a lot of Celine Dion's isms. So, you know, like I, I sometimes I'll just even go into Celine Dion impression and just do it, you know, like, <laughs> for other times. Like, so it just comes out all the time. I don't even know how to do it. I don't know how to say it. But I, I listen to her a lot. So I think that comes out sometimes. And Christina and Cheryl, Bonnie, Susan Tedeschi, for sure, all those people. I love Prince. I love Michael Jackson, you know. It kind of runs the gamut. I also listened a lot to Stevie Wonder's Music Aquariums. <laughs> it's now, a lot, a lot it, of random influences. I'm not even trying to suggest that you're any kind of mimic. You've clearly blended them all and, and incorporated them into your own sound, and you guys sound fantastic. Thank and you. What a phenomenal find for a band, right? How did you, guys, how did you find this band? So these are people that I found through other friends and Matt on drums right here. We actually, so there's a thing, I don't know if you guys have heard about it. It's Caleb Chapman's Crescent Super Band, which is like an all state band. I'm sure, you know, he's Utah famous. I'm sure, maybe you've heard of it, but Matt and I were in the band together in high school. So I knew Matt from a long time ago. Desmond and Adrian are, are new friends of mine, but I heard they're playing. I was like, gotta have them. They're in the band. And so far, they're, they've stayed. So that's super positive. So far, they've stayed. So far. I, I, I haven't diva out enough yet. Oh, but more just diva, you more wait. Diva. I know, right? Uh, take us into this next song. So this next song is also a new one. This is an unreleased tune. The, the last tune, this tune, and our, and our final tune are all unreleased songs. So, so this is a special treat. This is a Van so Sessions Street. Thank yeah, you. Right. Yeah, right. This is a um, this one's called If Ever I Lose My Way and this one uh, was very I'm a big so one of my other big influences is John Mayer and, and this one I feel like was very much a John Mayer inspired song. This is If Ever I Lose My Way. Yeah. 
Thank you, guys. Band, band session, so good. Phenomenal work. Well, we've established that you can sing. Uh, was this like, you know, how old were you when you were belting them out, the classics, I guess? This is the, so this is the classic story. We have a video, home video of me. My mom was obsessed with Neil Diamond. She's sitting right over here. She saw him <laughs> so many times. She knew what costume changes he was going to make. <laughs> So I was listening, we have a video of me listening to Neil Diamond when I was like two years old. I don't know, what was the song? What was the name of the song? You don't remember? <laughs> you called yourself a Neil Diamond fan. <laughs> Just kidding. You put so, her on the spot. <laughs> yeah, I I've been singing since I could talk. That's the, sh that's the answer to that. That's the long answer to that question. I love it. Well, uh, love the songs. Do you want to take us into a little bit of your songwriting process? So it's different for everything. Sometimes yeah. I'll start with a, like that one, I kind of start with. And I liked that. And then I yeah. kind of just looped that until I figured out a verse. And then uh, that song sort of, lately I've been coming up with a, with a progression and then I'll record it and then try to sing over it. Cause I'm trying to be a little more specific with my, with my melodic placement, with my rhythmic placement within the melody, within the writing. So I find that recording the music part first helps, but then sometimes it starts with the title. So I started, mm -hmm. this next song started with the title and I just kind of, I went with the title and I had this idea that I wanted to just write, write a fun, gritty kind of country rock song. And uh, some, so it just, it really varies. I know that's like the typical songwriter answer, but it varies on every song. No, it's, so. it's good to know. So what is the title of this next song? So this next song is called Dead End. Yeah, you got to write a story about that. you got to write yeah. a story about Dead End. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's hear it. Take it all You leave them nothing And never call Ain't a line You won't cross, no No broken heart can make You wanna change the man you are Well, how many is it gonna take? You got mud on your boots and my clothes are gonna shame A couple of bad habits that you never could break Did you ever find what you were looking for? Make me say it. No, it's too cliche. The truck you're driving gives it all away. Splendor, like a sailor's smile. Can't see the road ahead. You're driving blind with both lights out. You won't ever find your way. You're still hanging around You're asking about my day You said, baby, let's get away The stars are bright tonight Let me take you for a ride Not in that piece of junk You know what I'm talking about You got mud on your boots and nothing to your name Except the bad habits you ain't never gonna change Never find what you're looking for to be here. Thank you, Van Session, so much for having me. I hope to be back. I hope to see you guys at some shows. 
What do you say we take them out, guys? You think we could do it one more time? One, two, three, uh, dead and whoa, whoa. Oh. Steve Baird on Van Sessions. <laughs> Thanks everyone for being here for this live recording of Van Sessions. You can find all Van Sessions podcasts by simply searching Van Sessions podcast on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Uh, thanks again to our host, The Monarch Building, and the official beer of Van Sessions, Utah Brewing, and to our granting sponsor, Ogden City Arts. We'll see you on the next Van Sessions. Thank you.